A new study shows Florida homes are overpriced by more than 20%. Is this the bubble that everyone has been afraid of and is it going to burst? More on that in a moment. Hi everybody, it's Joe Hilner with Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty, where we guarantee that your home will sell for 101% of asking price, or I'll pay you the difference. Okay, so every week I share market data to keep you informed with the local real estate market. Here is this week's Boca Market Watch. First, single family homes. This past week, a poor week with only 47 new homes on the market, ranging from 299K to 20,495,000. Hello! 20 homes back on the market, 33 homes took a price decrease, and only three sellers raised their asking price. And a decent week with 54 different properties under contract and another 28 going pending. And only 12 homes unsuccessful in selling and taken off the market or expired outright. Virtually nothing. 70 homes sold in the past week, not too bad. Those home sales range from 260,000 to 24.5 million. Now that's some real cheddar. Next up, condos and townhomes. Only 54 new listings, not good at all, ranging from 70 grand to 2.1 million. 23 units back on the market, 17 properties with a price decrease and four sellers with an increase. Like single family homes, very low. 61 different properties under contract, another 41 went pending, pretty fair week. And only 17 condos or townhomes unsuccessful in selling and taken off the market or expired. 96 close sales this past week, decent week for condos and ranging in price from 55 grand to 2.8 million. Here's what's making news right now. According to researchers at Florida Atlantic and Florida International Universities, homes keep selling for more than they're worth, a disturbing development that eventually could put buyers in a serious bind. And as of June 30th, homes throughout the state were selling for almost 22% above their long-term pricing trend, an increase from 19% in May and 17% in April. So it's getting worse. Homes around Tampa sold in June for 32% premium, the highest in the state. In our area, homes were selling at 17% premium, up from 15 and 13% the last two months. So does that mean we're headed for another crash like the last time the market got superheated? Is there a bubble and is it going to explode on us? According to the experts, probably not. Citing a shortage of homes for sale, a steady influx of out-of-state buyers, and mortgage rates near historic lows, everything that I've been reporting for months, the researchers are not predicting a housing crash like the one that occurred more than a decade ago when, ho when Florida homes were overvalued by 60% or more. Associate Dean Ken Johnson at FAU College of Business said in a press release, quote, property appreciation eventually will taper off and recent buyers who paid top prices risk being stuck for a significant amount of time before they can realize solid returns on their investments. We're nowhere near where we were at the peak of the last housing cycle but we do need to be careful. Walking away from an obviously overvalued home may be the best thing buyers can do in this kind of market." Close quote. Given the level of overpricing, Johnson said, floor consumers almost certainly would be better off renting a home and reinvesting the money they would have spent on ownership. Quote, our research on buy versus rent indicates that on average right now, renting and reinvesting is a particularly good wealth creation strategy. More people who rent and reinvest would help alleviate current pricing pressure, which is a good thing, end quote. That's certainly solid logic and not to be discounted. However, in our area, there's so little rental inventory available, that may not even be an option. So what do you do if you're ready to buy now? You owe it to yourself to work with an agent that can get you access to offline and off-market properties, so you're not getting into bidding wars with other buyers. That's a sure way to overpay for your house. Better to be the only buyer so you can negotiate the best deal. Makes sense, right? All right, so if you're interested in this kind of information and you're renting right now, you might be interested to know that with the super low interest rates available, home affordability is actually about on a par with renting. If you're interested in those details, just give us a call. All right, that's it for today. If you'd like some specific market data on your neighborhood, give us a call at 561-609-0657. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel and you like the information, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Till next time, this is Joe Hilner with Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty, signing off for now. Go serve big, everybody, and I'll see you next week.